welcome back, welcome back. It's your guy, Old Family. And today we're going to be talking about Shirag, a.k.a. Sharon Rogers, or a.k.a. as I like to call her now, Starlight Cat, with her new uniform. Um, we got to show off the new uniform, 3.0. Um, this is a big one here. You know what I'm saying? This is one everybody should have. You know, go all the way with it, max it out. This is the one right here. Um, I mean, this makes, if if Shirag was already solidified as a strong PvP character, this just takes it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Here's some of the uniforms you're going to need along the way. Uh, definitely go pick up Angela's uniform, max that out too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the, you know, one of the attack stats that's, that's needed. Uh, one of the uniforms you need for that attack stat for Shirag, so make sure you go you go get that if you don't got it. Um, this uniform is just amazing. It's just amazing. And uh, I wanted to do the testing out a timeline battle because, you know, obviously that's what Shirag is known for. And, you know, she kind of really, uh, you know, she broke the meta when she was released because of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, Shirag is one of the uh, premium characters that's not um, restricted to the bio subscription pack that you can actually pick up and get. Now, you can't farm her um, as far as any missions in the game, but she is available um, for you to get her in bio selectors, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, um, for all of you who don't know, now for those of you who do know, Shirag was the best character in the game, but she lacked a uniform. Probably got one of the better tier twos out of the you know the character most of the characters in the game, and um, you know, great skill set, but she was missing a uniform, you know, um, and she finally got it. Well, we finally got it. Second year anniversary, and uh. What an anniversary it is. And we just got Shirag in a comic book, which, you know, it would be really cool to see, uh, you know, Shirag pull up, you know, in the, um, in, the, in the Marvel comic book universe, you know what I'm saying? To really see her pop up there, you know, as the new Cap, seeing that, you know, we got Hydra Cap nowadays, and maybe she could snap her father back, you know, into some sense. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm just very excited about this new... Uh, this new suit designed by Tony Stark for her. But uh, let's just look into it real quick. Now, as far as the rotation, we keep in the same rotation, but uh, we're probably just being a little more fun with it. Now, what we're doing here, we got A1 for the 45%, the heal, the uh, remove debuff, which is what we need. We're going to pop that, and we're going to bring in uh, Shirag. We got um, Phil, Phil in there for the guaranteed crit rate. Which is 20%, and then if we go up against any uh any bad guys, we should be alright. Now, um, guaranteed crit rate goes perfect with Shirag. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. You know, especially with the way she does damage now, you probably might want to um um you know focus on crit rate or pairing her up with Kosen so she could get that guaranteed crit rate because uh it's just crazy. But anyway. The rotation goes three, you know what I'm saying? You want to go into the five after the three, as you're going to see, and then we're going to pull up with the four, okay? All the time. Now the two, the two is the is the eye frame, right? Now you need that skill in between um in between the uh the shield, the damage immunity. So what you want to do is uh, well you're gonna see, you, you, I, I might show you, but I cancel out between the two and the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just kind of keep pressing both buttons until my shield comes back. If I'm kind of in the pickle, if I get in the pickle, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just, you know, let them kill me. You know, I cancel out between the two skills until my shield pops back up. It's, it's kind of a little, you know, a, a, a little trick, you know, I, I kind of start, you know, I kind of did well. But as you can see, uh, we're at T1. We're not even at least 20, 20, 20 gears. And... No pro I think we're gonna one shot her. I mean, you, like that's ridiculous. We just one shot it, Proxima. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mind you, 
if you remember from a little bit earlier, um, Shirag is uh, built, well, my Shirag is built very defensively. A max HP uh, obelisk, three second uh, shield, invincibility under 40, and start backing. Um, not even, you know, not even at 8% on a, um, on the stat on, on the stats, you know, so I still got a lot of work to do with her, but she is doing very well. Very well. As you can see, very well. I mean it, it in my opinion, it's safe to say that uh Shirag is back on top. It is safe to say. It's safe to say, you know. My Shirag is outperforming tier two Shirags. My tier one Shirag. This is impressive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely upgrade this uniform if you copped it. Um don't don't waste your time. You know? Go all the way with it. You know, if I had her T2, I might I might have actually tested her out in um in ABX because I'm really enjoying Shirag. Uh, uh, prior to the uniform, I, I thought Shirag is a very cool character, you know. Um, I do like her original uniform, the way it looks. I think it's very cool. I, I love the way it looks. Um, but um, I just didn't really like the character as much. I didn't really like the character. I felt like, you know, I don't know. I just didn't like the character. I didn't, it, she wasn't, she didn't play as smooth as she plays now, you know what I'm saying? But still, I, but still like a fun character though, you know, a fun character. But like I said, this uniform is really like, you know, it's one of those like Amadeus Cho uniforms, you know what I mean? Like over the top. You just lost a Destroyer there. Uh, Destroyer is OP, right? Huh. Um. I mean, just just craziness. Like, what's going on here? Just craziness, you know. Just just pure just pure chaos, man. Excuse the little iTunes things popping up. Just listening to music, but um, I mean, tier one. I mean, I deliberately. You know, went up against these characters, you know, to see her perform against them. And funny thing is, Wops, Wops Tier 2, the remove debuff, doesn't even work. Like, she should have been debuffed. She should have debuffed that and be able to get out of it. She, nothing she could do. So she basically, like, overthrew the whole meta right now. I mean, Doctor Strange's time freeze can't even, you know, override that. But anyway, that was just survived. And Tia with the brand new uniform. I just wanted to, you know, run through it real quick. You know, kind of show you guys, you know, my results with them and what it's doing for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to catch you on the next one.